This will be a multi-part tutorial about the subject. In this video we'll talk about all the pre-planning things and in next episodes we'll start actually programming. I'll be making an incremental with you, but I ask you not to copy it, but rather figure out your own stuff. Everything starts with an idea. You have an idea and you want to make it happen. What I first suggest doing is thinking about the idea a little further. How expandable is it and would it keep the player interested? You can borrow mechanics from other incrementals, but for the love of his holy noodliness, don't make another Clicker Heroes or Cookie Clicker clone. You can either go for a more idly game or a more active one, but I personally prefer a mix of both where the player can choose, so that you can progress while being away, but you do so faster while active. You should also take a moment to think what kind of player is this game directed towards. For example Bitburner and Money Grab heroes are directed towards very different audiences. Do you want it to be a more hardcore incremental with more intricate mechanics or directed towards more casual players with perhaps more graphics and a more classic incremental approach to gameplay? Another thing to think about is how the gameplay loop feels. If the game becomes repetitive, like buying the same things over and over just a little faster, the player is not going to be interested in it for too long. You also need to give a player something to strive towards, as if there are no unlocks left to get, most players will have no interest in continuing. For my idea, I'll have a polynomial growth like my previous game, where there is three columns of production. The first will produce the main currency, next will produce a currency which is used to buy more tiers of production, and the last on my original idea produced some kind of prestige currency. But the more I thought about it, the more I disliked the idea, because it's basically just another currency. Only difference is that you have to reset to get it. So I got another idea which is totally not stolen from derivative clicker, where the last column defines how fast the time in the game flows. It brings a bit more interesting sounding factor, where in the start time flows a second in a millennium and in the end you go through universe lifespans in a second. The tiers are infinite, so you'll always benefit from all the columns. As a prestige mechanic, I could either go for a basic percentage increase in production based on prestige currency, but that sounds a bit boring and harder to expand, so I'll make a shop where you can use the currency instead. Now that you have the basic mechanics thought up, you need to mock up your UI and visuals. What kind of color scheme, the placement of elements... You can either do that on paper, or in GIMP, or in paint. Or even peeing it in the snow, I don't really care. You also need to think of the user playing the game when thinking of the UI. Stuff like, how many clicks does it take to do certain actions, the more often you need to do something, the easier it should be to do it. Also the visibility of information needs to be considered. What information needs to be visible where? I go into a little bit more in depth on this in my user interface in incrementals video. This mockup I made is really rough and also quite similar to derivative clicker. But I suck at making incrementals so I couldn't think of anything better. It's really simple, you see the currencies on top of the corresponding generators and there's also the basic achievements and statistics. You can also see the color scheme here. I just used this side to generate schemes until I saw one that pleased my eye. Preferably, don't pick too bright colors not to exhaust the player's eyes. Also, many incremental players prefer generally darker colors because they are all nerds living in their parents' basement in total darkness. Next you need to actually start to think about the numbers you'll use. You can go two different ways with this. You can either calculate growth curves and production and costs and stuff like that, which will require a bit more knowledge of mathematics. Or you can just hit your fist into the numpad and try to play the game yourself with different numbers, adjusting them to your own feel. Either way, the most important thing to know is that your costs need to always grow faster than your production. And when the game slows down due to it, you just throw additional unlocks and upgrades on things so it speeds up again. For graphing things out, you can just try something like Desmos. For my game, I approach more of the fist in the numpad way. Here's the values. The tier unlocks cost is 
gonna probably be badly off, so need to just test it then. In the next part we'll start to actually code. I'll be making the game with view.js and use big number library. I'll make it assuming you know JS and CSS, but don't worry, I'll be also releasing crash course videos to both of them at the same time when I actually manage to do them.